Okay, well let's go ahead and talk about drawing arcs. Now we already know a little bit about drawing circles and we know that uh, to draw a circle there were lots of different options. All right. Of course we could be very, very basic which most time when we draw circles we're just usually using the center of the circle and the radius and sometimes the diameter. But we had all these other options out here that got to be maybe a little bit more complex. Well the arc command has lots and lots of different um, options available to us. So let's just kind of go through a couple of them here. Start with real basic, just three points. So just specify three points and there it is. Okay, and we start from the start to the second point, the first point to the second point to the third point. All right, let's draw another one. suppose that we pick this one here and you'll notice that a lot of these uh, commands in here under the arc are really all the same they're just in a different order so like this one here says start center and end well here's start center and end again but it's just in a different order so we're going to specify here would be the center then the start then the end okay all right well, let's just pick the, this one here so start center and end all right, so here you can see we're in the arc command and it says specify the starting point. So let's just uh, pick a point. Then it says where is the center? Let's just say here. And then where is the end? Let's just say um, out here. Okay, let's pick another one. start center and length so start point center point and then the length now the length uh, that they're referring to is what they call the chord length and the chord length is um, the distance the straight line distance between the start of the arc and the end of the arc okay and so let's just type in a value let's say 5 and there it is. Start, end, and a length of five. Okay, let's do one more. Let's go back to maybe the first one here. Start, center, and end. So here's the start. Let's say here's the center. And let's say out here is the uh, end. Now why did it go from here to here, right? Because here's the start point, here's the end point. Why didn't it go from here and wrap around in this direction? Well, what AutoCAD does is it always goes from the start to the end in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, so if I really did want the arc to be on the bottom side, then I would have had to make this my start point, my center, and then my end over here. Okay, well that's it.